Yo, 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 this is your favorite nigga, man, Mo Love, man, uh, coming at you. Man, good evening. On the way to the graveyard, ship your dick. 12 o'clock midnight. Wow, we're off to a bang already. <laughs> 2023. Well, Just had to come in, man. And get my bass get yeah, well <laughs> my guitar. Got the bass laying over there, son. <laughs> mm -hmm. But we got my guitar, you dig? Don't give no rat no. Don't give no rat no rat at all. Understand? I'm giving a rat. Why I don't 
get no rap. I don't get no rap. <laughs> Go do me. Damn it. Y'all don't want to stop acting a fool. Y'all don't want to be happy. Y'all don't want to be happy, so fuck it. I don't give no rap. Damn it. Not one little funky son of a bitch. I can't stand rap. Wow. I don't know why God made that a bitch. Y'all gonna get me in the raw. Let me see what hat I want to wear tonight. Might as well get it to y'all. Y'all got to come to my station to get some happy. I'm telling you, cause why? Cause I'm is mo love. You dig? If you can't catch no smile when I'm get through, how you doing, Becky, baby? Becca, that's my baby, Becca. Tell you right now. Now see, I promised I wasn't gonna start no shit. <laughs> but it is her birthday, so I'll give no rat. <laughs> I'm gonna show her some loving. She had the video on there showing that they got them bed bugs, them goddamn bed bugs. Them some bitches, man, they are relentlessly don't give a damn about nothing. Nobody, they will eat your ass up. You know. Let me tell you something. Uh, we didn't have them shits, man. Now, Omaha, I'm going to tell you right now. We didn't have no COVID, no bed bugs, no lice, no nothing. Till all them people come from way down there off the golf, golf, golf course, uh, coast. Now, don't take this the wrong way, Mexico. But I'm want to know. They just talked about how y'all was doing how y'all was treated wrong when Trump came in. Now, I just want to know, uh, they never did say, they, they talk about, oh, they took the, the children from their parents and consolidated and blase and this and that and the other, made it sound, sound really bad. But we didn't have no damn bed bugs and they did not even mention the true conditions now trump didn't do that and, and american people didn't do that but i'd like to know what illnesses did you have was you sick was you throwing up was you puking was you diarrhea what, you know just talking about the conditions well yeah i guess so I'm telling you, if I was Mexican and I'm living over in Mexico and I'm so proud to be a Mexican, ain't no way I'm going to come running over to no goddamn America just to get what I need. Because you don't see my black ass swimming and trying to go back to no goddamn Africa. I'm going to tell you that right now because they some lying motherfuckers. And if y'all think you're going to take your black ass back over to Africa and shit going to be just like it's going to be like welcome oh boni mama no them motherfuckers is some arrogant motherfuckers I'm going to tell you that right now real arrogant they call you a fucking bum if you got money they take all your money they dog your ass out go and look this people still living, man, it should be projects over that bitch. Like, everybody over here in the U.S., they done turn projects into, uh, uh, what you call them, uh, 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 u
where they make a bunch of old houses and shit, and they can sell it to you, but and you can buy them, but you can't sell them to nobody. That's the same thing in Detroit with them HUD houses and shit. You can buy them, but you can't sell them. You got to sell it back to the same people, you know, that sold them to you. Yeah, yeah, understand that. Because my uncle had a HUD house. I went to uh, Detroit back in 1989. And I uh, stayed at the spell with my uncle Donnie. And he had these houses, man, in uh, uh, Highland Park. And uh, he had these houses. You couldn't sell them. If they weren't for sale. You know, all the Detroit factories and shit. You know, the Detroit factories, they, uh, you know, Pontiac, Plymouth, and all of that shit, Ford, Mercury, and all them different places, man, they shut down. And it's pretty, though, but everybody's running around there panhandling and shit. My uncle said, boy, what you doing with your ass all the way in Detroit? What you doing here, boy? I said, well, I'm saying, Nebraska done got on my fucking nerve, man. I'm sick of that motherfucker, man. That goddamn cornfield. He said, look here. It don't matter if you tired of that son, bitch. Ain't nothing here neither. You know, I, the best thing I could tell you is turn your ass around and go back to Nebraska. Because ain't shit here. You see people running around with signs and shit. And begging for money or whatever, hell, you might as well do the same thing they doing. Get your panhandle on, because there ain't nothing here. I said, you got to be kidding me. He said, no. Nah. I said, well, I saw this little uh, place show you how to uh, uh, use the machines and shit around there. And they pay you to do it. He said, yeah. He said, he said, yeah, 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 but I'm trying, the house that you in, I'm trying to rent it out to these nurses. And your other uncle, I done told him to get the fuck out and get out of there and quit fucking around so I can rent it out to the mother one because I can't sell it. And damn it, I ain't going to keep paying taxes on the house that I ain't living in no more. And I can't sell it for what I want to sell it for. I got to sell it back to them. And... I'm just trying to break even. And uh, so my other uncle, you know, he's like, well, what, what, what's the problem? What's the matter? You, you, I said, man, I'm out of this bitch, man. And he tried to compromise and nah, he already told me what time it is, man. I'm headed back to Omaha. I came out with this motherfucker, man. And you sold the bullshit to me, man. Like, everything's here. Go ahead and go for it. Next thing you know, you know, I'm, you know, I'm thinking, nigga gonna help me get it on. You know, I'm gonna help you get on. I'm gonna help you get on. Man, like bullshit. Let me take my ass on back to Omaha. And he tried to play me like a runaway or something. Like, man, if you don't leave me alone, I'm going to pull something out of this motherfucker, man, and stop whopping you in your goddamn head. Try to come to me, you know, at the, he tried to, I, 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 I had a lady that was down the street that was friends of my uncle's, right? Her son was, uh, back then, he was on Sports Illustrated, the baddest basketball player for Boston College. I can't even remember his name, but I met him, his mother, or his sister and his mother. And they live right down the alley from uh, my Uncle Donnie's house, man, in Highland Park. And I heard my uncle, he told me the history and everything that's going on. And it was likely, you know, that was back then, that was, man, you know. I'll just put it like this. Escobar was very much alive. So if y'all know who the fuck Escobar, Pablo Escobar is because... Pablo Escobar was, man, let me tell you something. I'm I'm sitting in the, in the dorms. I'm in the dorms watching the Olympics and all this shit, man. And uh, I watched them dog out uh, uh, Roy Jones Jr. He, 
he did his thing and he whooped this that Korean dude. He didn't want to get out the ring and all that kind of shit. And then at the end of it, he went back and whooped the dude again. And he gave him an extra dose of what he gave him the first time. But they gave it to him. And anyhow, man, so I'm watching. Uh, it's not Ted Koppel. Or, or was it? He went all the way out there, man. And he went all the way to Pablo and them. Uh, Panama or Cuba, wherever it was over there, right? And I watched the whole series on the thing. It was like a week long or something like that. And he went over there and he showed them them go down there to the Coca-Cola, big up, big, or just open, you can see it just like you're looking at, you know, just hills and valleys and shit, nothing, nothing but these coca leaves and shit, right, and so they show, show them how they process the whole shit, man, and he said, wow, that's, it's really potent, I'm feeling high as, as we standing here, and they showed you the whole shit, chop it down, got a great big big old pot, boiling pot. Boil these fucking coca leaves and shit. And then take, you know, them uh, uh, Kroger sacks and shit, man, you, you know. And then they pour the it was funny. What I saw is they poured the poured the shit off, right? Poured it off in this coca leaves. The, onto this Kroger sack, those uh, uh, leaves. After they boiled it real good. Now, I know you would think that the shit they was pouring off was the shit. But it actually wasn't the shit. The shit was still them leaves. Then they took them leaves and chopped them up. Maybe I got it wrong. I just remember that's how they did it. They took a big old pot, raw, took them leaves and, and threw them in that thing, boiled it. And when you get done, and they poured this shit off into into these goddamn uh, Kroger sacks, you know, just laid them down and these leaves and shit, poured it off on there. And then what you, when it when it cooled off and dried, it was a lot of dirt and shit like that on it. When they got done, this was the purest shit you could ever get. It was just pure. You know what I'm saying? Pure, pure. And man, you know, so I think it was Ted Koppel, wasn't it? He went out there and he had his little micro the, the micro microphone. And he's standing there interviewing them, going through the whole shit. But it was around about that same time Escobar shot uh it was a famous uh, soccer player. He missed that goal and lost that thing, and he just foul shot him and killed him dead on there. A lot of shit was going on back then. I'm going to tell you something, man. You know, that was back in the day when just pennies from heaven. You did. Now, that's what... He's gone. All that's gone. Now, you listen to the air right now. Listen. Just be quiet and listen to everything right now. You hear? Do you notice anything? All you hearing is nothing, right? Just what you doing, you know? TV, this, that, and the other. That's, that's it. Now, you know you was hearing cars just moving, planes in the air, trains and shit moving, all this kind of shit. You don't hear that no more. You don't hear none of that. You just hear everything because you can hear 
Like you be sitting, you hear the highway, the wheels be cutting the highway on the street, you hear it, right? And they had to put up sound barriers and shit, man, you know, from the highway because the public, you know, the housing and stuff, the neighborhood, the sound deadening. Yeah, it's almost a waste that they made them shits, right? Because you don't hear in helicopters and sirens and all this shit ain't going, ain't no more of that, right? This just came down to just quiet, ain't nothing else. Except for the dumbass shit people doing now, still running around shooting somebody. It's like, goddamn, why don't your ass, why do little, little pissy shit? Give the police and them something to fucking do. Get at them. You no. Know? Why go for your neighbor or somebody right here? That's what I tell you, man. Society ain't shit. Little new generation, y'all ain't nothing, man. Y'all full of shit. Bigger niggas was taking big chances. When they take, they take big motherfucking scoops or something. They was doing big shit. Y'all right here. Riding with my Reeboks. <laughs> All this. Riding with my G shot. Heard he shot first. Oh, oh my God, it's a standoff. Spot him, got him, all this old bullshit for what? You niggas got guns and you, you look, let me tell you something, man. It's getting to the point where they're going to take, in order to control that, they're going to have to. It can't no American, nobody can't have no gun, no nothing. Turn them bitches in, get caught with them. Damn it. That's what they're actually trying to do. Nobody can have no gun. Too goddamn stupid. White people, black people, niggas, honkies, all you motherfuckers can't have nothing. And who the fuck are you? Who do, Now, everybody ran from somewhere the way you couldn't exercise your Second Amendment. Now, who the fuck gonna go all the way to motherfucking... What if they took... Because that's who got... They got AKs and everything. Them bitches, they don't know nothing. Nothing about cleaning that motherfucker up. Them goddamn guns in the Christakoff, them motherfuckers still shoot. And that's in Africa, right? In all them foreign countries, they don't need no goddamn... They don't need no license, no nothing. They got them shits. 7.62 by 39s. Red that motherfucker just zip by you and take your whole side of your face. Ain't hit nothing. Just whizzed by you. Shit. Come on, man. God damn, dog, man. Fuck. Make it just, just, just uncomfortably. It's just ignorant, man. You take all the goddamn shit, man. Let me tell you something. Mexicans will be standing at the gate. Take your ass back. Cross that motherfucker to the United States. If they were the ones can have motherfucking guns, you can't have one. <laughs> uh, they wouldn't be wanting to run over here with no bed bugs, lice, and everything else, a mouse and a rat <clears throat> in their goddamn baggage, whatever's on them. They care. They got every tick, bug, everything on their ass. Why do you think Trump told you to take your ass over there to the goddamn gate before you come over here? Why are you making shit so difficult? Now, I'm going to tell you another thing. You go back in my videos. They tried to stop that one because I talked about, what was it? It was, it was a video I made, I believe, back in when Trump was being impeached. Right? And before that, about Pelosi and all of this shit and come on over to America and talking about <laughs> the Second Amendment. You see that some bitch up there on that wall? You see it. You see that goddamn fishing pole. 
that motherfucker Beretta up there and that goddamn uh, 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 AK or M16, right? Or AR-15. You see that motherfucker. Now, those are the BB guns. Those, those are just BB guns. You know. And, uh, Yeah, real talk, man. Those are just BB guns. But just the same, that's what they want to keep you from having your American dream, living your American dream. You know, and then you get Joe Biden, everybody jump for him and Kamala Harris or whatnot, man. Her bullshit, and she comes swagging out there like. <laughs> Like, well, people, they fall for anything. Once you do, and it don't turn out that way since y'all dogging Trump so fucking much, as soon, just be waiting in the cut. Soon as somebody start complaining about Joe Biden, come off the fucking top rope. Slap the shit. <laughs> like, you voted you voted for Joe Biden as soon as you start complaining. <laughs> Shit. You be just as bad as Will Smith. Come over there, walk over there. Wham! <laughs> and walk off and then look over there. Shit, shit. He never lost composure, shit. He didn't give a fuck. He meant to go over there and slap your black ass. <laughs> Why? Because, you know what? <laughs> Too bad it was him, though. Damn. Who don't care about Chris Rock? Who, you know what I mean? Damn. But you just never know, because you're not there every day with them. But, yeah. As soon as you start complaining, slap the... As soon as they start complaining, slap the shit. Slap the shit. Until it's dripping right out of their ass. As soon as you start complaining about Joe Biden. Like, or, or at least ask, did you first find out, did you vote? Did you vote for him? You know what I mean? Like, shit, what did you expect? Who, who like, who did you expect? He wasn't going to do nothing. Or did you vote for him? Oh. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Slap. <laughs> Ass be laying down on the ground holding your goddamn face cheek. <laughs> like, what the fuck you read? What for? Shit, you voted for that motherfucker. It's all your fault. He wouldn't have made it if y'all didn't vote for him. Shit. You didn't vote for him. How he's going to make it? Like, like now you're going to complain. Trump played his hands good, man, you know. The fuck do you want from the man? Shit. Everybody and their mama did the, you know, when hate Trump. Hate Trump for what? No. He tried to, to do things. He was in there doing it. If it don't make money, it don't make sense to him. You already know that. It was a lot of people. Trump, Trump, Trump. But who else was you going to go for? Some of them other goddamn folks is just as bad as, or worse. Who's you going to go for, Mitt Romney or somebody? What the fuck was he going to do? With some of them other leftist ass fucking people, what the, what was they going to do? And y'all talk about, don't start talking about no political, fuck you. That's the reason why shit is so bad the way it is now. Like, damn, y'all just don't get it, man. Fix this. Why? Even the plane. 
If you're going to do for one and it do for all, so there ain't no damn excuse for none of the shit that's going on. You know what I mean? There's a billion dollars. You got how many people out here in the world when you take census, right? We'll give everyone some of that shit. No. And why rake the prices up when you should drop the prices where a person you ain't got to keep giving giving them this shit. It's so it's back to uh man my 1970 prices, man, when gasoline was nothing but a goddamn quarter. <laughs> Think I'm bullshitting, man? See. They just go ass backwards, just panic and, 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 and just panic. You know what I mean? Imagination just go crazy. What difference does it make? If everybody there, you don't need no money. You just walk right over there and get whatever fuck it is you want. Walk right in the goddamn store just and be eating like a damn fool. Can't fix nothing. Can't do nothing like escape from New York, right? Ain't nobody, ain't nothing, shit, there's no order, there's nothing. It, 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 the whole world, like, fuck it, just do what you want, ain't no damn reason to be fucking out. Then ain't nobody working, ain't nobody processing no food, ain't nobody doing, not a damn thing, so all it is is that shit. Next thing you know, all you got is some fucking old rat infested ass shit, man, you know what I mean? I don't know, man. You better get your goddamn asses together, man. Because the old, old World War One, World War Two, they don't give a fuck. They made a bunker. When you get done cooling yourself, man, you dig? They done made that, they, they fucking turtle shell. And they in that bitch with a bug out bag. If you fuck around and find it, and they know goddamn well you say nobody outside that some bitch that shouldn't be that should be open that motherfucker from outside or tampering with it. You gonna get it. <laughs> you understand me? Shit, you might as well be a fucking zombie. They ain't going, man. I agree with him. World War One, World War Two. You know those are <clears throat> those are the soldiers that was. Uh, that was fighting against Hitler and everything, right? 1940s, 1930s, 1940s. I mean, shit, shit started back in 1920, 19, uh, man, look. Why I don't get me to, man. You get a taste of real life and all of a sudden it is gone. You know, y'all make me just, Ill man, you just make them ill. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna keep it a damn stack for you, man. Every time life starts looking like it's finna, you know, ain't nothing else to do but live your, live your best life. Y'all find a way to make everybody feel just uncomfortable as you can. Isn't that true? Just wreck it all. And all this panic and shit. You make people say, man, the hell with you. Then here's another thing. What was it back in... <coughs> <coughs> Let's see, the Olympics and the, everything, everybody went running to... Barbados or somewhere, right? The basketball and shit. And it went over there and it was like the septic tank, the garbage and everything was floating around in the water. You know where they got the the the, 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 the statue with Jesus or whatever standing up there or some kind of uh, a statue of, 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 of God or whatnot. All these people went over these different places and they're always going here and over there, over here and over there and everybody's getting on. Watch this. Every time, every time I think 
of it. I forget to mention it on here now with this pandemic and different shit and the reason I mentioned this, right? Now, I'm sitting here watching the news, right? And Good Morning America, and this is back in, good Lord, between 2000 and 10, 11, 12, well, yeah, 12 to 16, 17, or 19, <clears throat> 2019 right people going to the same thing that happened to uh uh bobby brown's uh daughter christine christina and uh, uh whitney where they, they in that bathroom and then all of a sudden they just pass the fuck out But now, they weren't the only ones that that happened to. It was another people that lived over in there was California. They had that same issue. That girl, she was famous for some reason. Same thing with this social media. That like that grande. She looked like her, and her and her mother lived in a nice little house. And all of a sudden, she passed, just passed out, and all that kind of stuff. Out all that stuff, man. And listen. Some about mold and mildew and all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, you know, there's no telling. Just like Bobby and them, I never knew that they, they was living in them hotels and stuff. I didn't know that. So, you know, even watching they, some of their stuff, I didn't never know that shit. But anyhow, uh, Where the people like, man, we ain't fucked up about it here. Take that whole room, man. You good to go, man. Fuck. Anyhow, man. Um, there was young people uh, or midlife around about age 50, something like that, 45, anywhere between just young, grown, right? <clears throat> And they go to some of them exotic places with the uh, white sands, it's tropical, and all this kind of shit. And then they go have fun and everything. And then it's time for them to go. And then I guess they they go in in there, and it's time for them to go. The folks come to knock on the room service to come knock and then they find them in there deceased. No foul play, it's just they just, you know, laying in there or whatever in the bed and they'll wake up or whatever, sitting in, in a chair or some bullshit, right? And that's been happening a, quite a few times. Now, I'm just wondering how many of these people, how many people, when they, they leave their ass and go somewhere else and they be somewhere else that they getting ill and they just go get fixed or get some vac vaccine or some bullshit right quick and they just like yeah we went over to this foreign land or this foreign country ate some of their goddamn food and all that kind of shit but they don't mention they ever got sick or nothing you know what I mean you know that's what I'm, I'm talking about we don't know what's going on man but that's one thing that people, they don't remember. I do remember some shit like that. I am watching it on the news. You know, when you see it come on news, you know it's fucking real. It ain't no prank or none of that shit. So, uh, yeah, y'all be careful, man. It could be, you could be tracking that shit and then, these bed bugs and shit. When you go to these hotels, man, you better be looking in that bed. Looking at that cover. Cause you never know, man. You keep seeing some little specks and little whatever, man. Cause all they ever do is just come in there 
cleaning zing, with the vacuum cleaner. Take the little old little uh, bedding and throw it away. Or, you know, get rid of it and just fold it up nice and neat for you to go crawl up in there. <clears throat> and dust this off and dust that up. Pick up the little trash you might have left behind and, and close the door and go to the next one. Next stall shit. And guess what? Some bits be hiding right behind the bed board or uh, in the mattress or something. You know what I'm saying? If the mattress would be, man, it's, it's signs of them. Just go to bed, boy. They'll show you, man. You go and see. Look it up. Their characteristics and shit, man. You know. You got to have pest control around that motherfucker. Vermin, varmint. Control, all that stuff. Let me tell you something. Yeah, yeah. Motherfucker had an issue, but I done showed y'all the shit that, that kills that motherfucking shit, boy. I'm telling you, they, them, man, when you go and you lay down on that bed, man, you is a goddamn smorgasbord. Do you know I had to throw a lot of clothes and shit right out of this room right here? I had to throw a lot of shit. I had a chair that I had a, a before I had a chair, I had to go back behind. Man, I cleaned this whole room, man. I went from everything. When I tell you everything, everything, I don't know the fuck they came from. I had so many clothes and shit, them bitches in there, man. And you, what you'll see is all of a sudden you'll see some, some look like speckles of cocaine or some bullshit, right? But them ain't no goddamn speckles and no fucking cocaine. You touch it and it, 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 it kind of mashes away. <clears throat> See this chair right here? These motherfuckers were so goddamn slick, man. You know, they'll be hiding every little crevice, every little something. As soon as you sit your ass down, man. They gonna crawl right up on your goddamn back and be eating or something. Up on your back, your neck. You be constantly, you know, or you fall asleep, man, and you know, just whatever. You be moving something around or something just be, man, and you move around. You go and you take a bath or something, man, and you look around. You be having all these, where is y'all? You, you look at your own nails and my skin. You know, no. You lay down, and man, then you look. And then you see the little motherfucker start running and shit. And it's just like, wow. Now, they said them bitches can't go nowhere. <laughs> but a couple centimeters, that's a lie. Them bitches move like roaches. I'm going to tell you, faster than a goddamn roach. And boy, you'll learn to really hate them motherfuckers. And they be everywhere. Man, you got to saturate everything with that shit. Let me tell y'all, man. I'm going to show y'all this, man, because I ain't ashamed. It's like ticks or anything else, man. And when it's something that other people you miss, they will make, they will fuck up your life. I'm telling you. You'll wonder where the fuck did they come from. And it could be, and it's not your fault. You understand me? It's not that you nasty or nothing like that. It's... Wherever you go, you be careful where you sit down. You careful who you let to your house. You don't never know. They be on. This is the shit you got to get. Man. Now, I'm going to tell you. <clears throat> this is the truth. This shit right here. This shit right here, blood. This shit right here, cuz. This shit right here, uh, Vato. This shit right here, uh, uh, Latin King. Uh, uh, listen, to everyone, I'm giving you some fucking help uh, right now. This shit right here. This shit right here. This shit right here. This shit right here. This save your fucking live player. This right here will kill that motherfucker dead. You see what it say right there? Boy. Let me tell you something. You spray this shit on, find one and spray this shit on it, on this mouth. I'll spray this shit on them. Boy, they'd be like Michael Jackson. 
That motherfucker see this bitch right here? Boy, he'll turn, he'll, man, that tail will turn up and he'll be up on his tiptoes, stop. I was like, ah! like Michael Jackson on his, <laughs> just like that. Now I'm telling you, you catch them all and they'll they stop right in their goddamn tracks and they first thing they do is they'll bend that tail up like a scorpion. I'm telling you. Boy, that shit, this shit here, this shit. Here is the truth. Shit. What? And then they got some powder. Now you don't want to throw that shit all over the place, cause that shit is, is is got it's a this shit is a blend and it's real silky, so that when you put it in cracks and shit, it go right down in it. So it's a a border. You put it. Anywhere will trail right around on the headboards, around on the borders of your floor. You want to lift your mattress up if you want. I wouldn't be mad if I wouldn't. I wouldn't be mad if at you if you took that mattress out and took it in your yard and set it on fire. That's the best thing you could about do. But if you you don't want to do that. I'm telling you, you what you need to do is you need to spray that bed, put that powder on that motherfucker. Now you got two of them right in the mattress, right? You put it on, put it, turn it over, spray that shit in there, put that powder in there, right? Then set it back down, and then you put, do the same thing, spray it and, and sprinkle that powder all over. Then you put the main mattress back on it, right? You. Sp Take that mattress and spray that. I don't give a fuck. Soak that son of a bitch all around that motherfucker up under. Put that bitch down and then go and soak that bitch again. They're on the top of that son of a bitch all over. Sprinkle that powder on that bed. Then go get you some of that plastic. You know they sell them by the rolls, right? Now, when you roll you out some and you cut it, it unfolds. Take that shit up, take that bed up, man, and you're going to see them motherfuckers going to come. They're going to unass that motherfucker, but you'll have men that there and you'll see that's that's going to kill a majority of them. Your drapes and all that shit, and then listen. I don't care if it's your 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 dresser, your cabinet. Man, they be up in the motherfucking corner trying to hide from you. They be up in the, like if you got an old chair, wooden chair, or a couch or something, they be right in the arm, right in the socket. Be a bunch of them up in there. And you'll see the motherfucker move all the way around where you can't even see them. It's like, boy, these motherfuckers be looking at you. You thought something they just crazy. They ain't got nothing but a, they brain ain't nothing but a, man, they be, man, I'm telling you. You, you is they food. I'm going to tell you that right now. Hold on. I'm telling you right now, that shit is the truth.
I'm going to tell you what the good Lord loved, and that's the truth. I ain't going to lie to you. <clears throat> well, like, they will ruin your life. That's what I'm trying to get you to understand. And these old uh, cheap of these places with them damn clothes, them uh, knockoff clothes and them old cheap ass beds and shit. You know, yeah, they'd be in them because, let me tell you something, uh, to say the least, dust mites. A dusty-ass place keep, you know, you <clears throat> dust mites. This is how they work. You'll notice how you want to take a bath a lot. You take a bath, you feel relieved, right? And be like, damn, let me get some oil and shit. Put you some oil on, you feel good, right? But you almost got to take your bet, you know, to feel good. And then a bunch of dust mites, so you got to keep you cleaning up. But dust mites must be a cousin to them because they just aggravate you. Uh, bed bugs, they totally eat your ass up, man. They, they'll show you when they been eating yeah so and then there's little kids man let me tell you something little kids they might be getting it the worst you just hate it for the little chap little children man they are right, but they when it's time to go to bed they start crying you think they just don't want to go to bed You go and you take your kid and every time you look around, you be thinking somebody's doing something to your kid. And the motherfucking bed bugs are eating them up. You taking them to the hospital thinking they might got some kind of allergy or something. The doctor's like, I don't know. Let me see. Let me, let me just check your blood and all that kind of stuff. And all the time, it's them fucking bed bugs. Little kid be whining, crying, ah, cause my brother had a friend, uh, and this this cat man and, and this black dude is his his black buddy, uh, he is Indian woman, and he had a one or two children with him. And I went with him and I seen the house right. Now, the house been there for a long time. And the house is kind of dusty, right? Not seeing, you know, this house. And you know how they got that that old, uh, them old, uh, what you call them little, whatever it is. It's usually installation up there. But this right here, the, the panels square panels and you just kind of move it around and it just hides whatever is up there all the time and it had a lot of them missing and it was uh installation just hanging there and different stuff like that well that fiberglass is one thing you know and then the boy he's always his face and his skin and stuff man you know like man you know, they probably just, he'd been, been eating him up so long until they just made a fucking house on him. They taking him to the hospital and all this kind of shit. But what I was thinking when I looked at it, like, man, I done seen Indians with the Indian pox and different stuff like that. But just something that just won't heal up all the time is either cancer or something. They, it ain't really what they... You know, they like they couldn't. It wasn't that, you know, wasn't no cancer. It wasn't that. It was, and it wasn't quite the 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 little diseases that most Indian people carry. You know, with them pox in their face and all that. You know, oh. Um, and I kind of figure, man, it must be that must be what it is. The bed bugs and them lice eating him up, man. You know, he eventually got older. He should be a grown man now. 
But let me tell you something. He didn't even know. But it was the condition. Like, if you kind of person you don't ever wash them goddamn sheets and covers and you keep the little boys go, you know, you just keep going and laying in that damn thing, you would think it's a condition you got. And and look way past the the, the real problem is, is the place is dusty as fuck. You know, you wash in the little clothes that you wear when you can or when you want to. Them covers been on there for like two or three years and you ain't never even washed them. You know, well, you know, that's the condition that I saw, man. Most people, when you get done, man, look. Then you got pests and shit that run around. You got different pests and shit. They carry lice. Could be possum. Could be squirrels. Could be uh, coons. Could be uh, funky old cat. Can be anything, man. You know, if it motherfucker always around there somewhere, could be an old dog. You got to check them sometime. Motherfucker have a tick or something on them. You know, the Lyme uh, disease and all kinds of stuff. So you got to be adamant about it. You know, most people don't pay no attention to that. That's, they take certain things for granted. But listen, you, you see me show you that. That's what you got to get in that, even that powder. So you put the man, listen. I took a lot of furniture. We took a lot of stuff out of here, man. Man, I don't do not know where they came from. We had some family, and then people was coming back and forth from Nebraska to uh, Arkansas and stuff like that. That they probably, <laughs> you don't fucking know. We they wasn't here, and then have y'all complain anyway. So you might have been just like roaches when. You move from the goddamn place, they moving too. Now, am I telling the truth? Roach being every motherfucking thing. You look around, you like, what the fuck did we move for? We might as well stay up. <laughs> now, on the mother freaking roaches. Now, I don't know, but I miss the nigga. That brought Lorraine Young and her daughter, Jackie Lynn Smith, to Omaha. They came to Omaha with me on the Greyhound in 2000 and it was the end of 2005. Over the new year, turned to 2006, January. Promise you that. Man, uh, before then, from 2004, right, she lived in this apartment called Fowler Square, right down on 7th and, on 7th and Sherman Street. I met them in, in, what was it, August 2004. Right? And then we started living together in August, September, October. It was, yeah. By October, then we, I stayed in the place with them, Fowler Square. Then it was November, December. And then I moved into another place right down the street in, in uh, Elms Court. Now, that was my apartment. I won't leave her in there. She said, no, nah, she didn't want to stay in there. She wanted to come with me. Her and her daughter, Jackie. Guess I was too good. I was that nigga. You understand? I'm on love. You dig? Can't get no nuff. I don't give a damn if the nigga got a dick this long, if they got a dick this fat. You don't like my shit. You don't like the way I put it on you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> right? Now, they was loving what I was doing. Now, take it. To 
get past that part. Give a fuck. I don't give a fuck what I want. I don't give a fuck. Or, or some dyke digging in your ass with a dildo. You know, what I'm more love. I got my own shit. I'm standing alone. I got my own lane doing my own motherfucking thing. You dig? You gonna like it. You gonna love it. You can't deny me. Shit, I'm real that up in here. Shit, anywho, <laughs> when I'm done, uh, loving myself. You dig? <laughs> Anywho, man, Fowler Square, it wasn't just her apartment. It was the uh, people that was up there in the part, in the ups, upper rooms of the damn apartment complex. Every complex in there had the same problem, roaches. And these goddamn roaches, man. If you ever been to a homecoming, Arkansas Razorback got the biggest fan base for their college that you wouldn't believe. They come up there, man, and they make a mess up there at the War Memorial, man, at the golf course, man. You know they in town. It, man, listen, cars can't, man, you might as well park that car and wear it right there. Right there on the busy, to just park the car, get out, man. The bus can't even go nowhere. Everybody just get out and go to the game. I'm serious. Think I'm bushing ass any Arkansas Razor back Little Rock to Fayetteville, Arkansas. They're going to tell you that. It's the truth. Now, man. These roaches was in there, man. They made a mess in there every day, every night. Just like that, you see uh, a barbecue grill coals all on, man, all on the golf course. You see paper cups, red cups, uh, paper plates, everything for tailgating. You see it all over the place. Now, to me, Whoever got to clean up that shit, man, they, they should have been, like, rubbing their hand. We got, you know, that's a job. You dig what I'm saying? You be like, shit, make all the mess you want to make. <laughs> that's bread. You know you got a job when they come to town. They don't make no difference. Throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it on down the ground. Throw it on down the ground. <laughs> you like, shit, that ain't nothing. You got work. That beats no work when you are a person that like to work. You dig what I'm saying? You ain't messed up, is what I'm trying to say to you, right? Now, that's how these roaches were being used. Just clean it up, cut the light out, turn the light back on 15 minutes later. That's how it's looking. You're like, damn, I just cleaned up. Why is it such a mess up in here, man? You know, it ain't no uh, furnace blowing dust around. None of that, man. Wake up the next day, man, or go somewhere and come back. It's the same thing. That's how bad they were in there, man. Wow. When it's time to go, you know, the landlord said, yeah, I can't do nothing. Fake it. You have to get your own spot. Because Lorraine and her ex-husband, Sylvester Sharp, right? He like baby boy, Melvin, you foul. I went to your baby's mama, <laughs> to your son, and he said you used to whoop his mama's ass every day. You used to whoop a mud hole in her motherfucking ass, beat her ass every day. Right? Well. If you know her, you'll know, yeah, or you experience her, you'll know why. It, even though it ain't right, everybody says the same thing. What they, they would have do, oh, you'll be so damn different than him just for the draws. You dig what I'm saying? Y'all women know what I'm talking about. 
you going to be way different from every nigga. And then she started playing that same shit on you just to see if she going to be able to get all that shit off and a little bit more. You be like, oh, hell no. <laughs> oh, hell no. That's <laughs> not out of the You're right. Well, she going to do it. But anywho, man. So I'm packing up all my motherfucking shit, man. I put it in my truck, man. And I, I drive right down the street. Everything, right? Bids, all this stuff, man. Baby toys and everything, man. Put it in the back of the truck, man, man. I ain't seen nothing. There roads, right? And if there was, shook him out, throw him out the box. God damn, y'all ain't going. Stay your ass in here. You can have all this shit. Yeah. <laughs> right? Man, get down the street. And I said, you better take a look in this box for you pull up in the house with it. Because you know how they do. Man, pull that goddamn box off that truck. Guess the fuck what, man. Them bitches was in there. And Every damn box. But I took that box and slammed that shit on the goddamn ground. Bitch, get out on the ground. <laughs> get it how you live. Ain't worried about it. You let them out, them birds gonna get their ass. Trust me. Shit, them birds was down there, man. You, you, you threw it down there, man. The next thing you know, you see birds come right down there and get in their belly full. Yeah, do your job. Free food, baby. Eat. Shit. Then let her stay out there a little while, man. They come up off of them and then turn around and get them all back. But you, you get the idea, man. You, you got to shake everything before you bring it in out. Place was okay, man. It didn't have not near roach in that bitch, man. Didn't have no problem with no roaches. Because here we was. Bang, 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 bang. And all the time, they was back there on the back of the headboard and shit. <laughs> but one day I looked, man, I'm like, oh, man, what kind? These bitches is right on the back of the, right on the back of the bed. <laughs> right on the back of the fucking bed. Man, <laughs> why we getting the bang, bang on? Man. You know how you grab on the back of the bed? You might been real, but they was right on here. On your hand. You go to sleep. They eating the food all off your face, man. God damn. Well, then they eat us. That's the only thing I can say about a roach. They eat the food and whatever else off you, but they ain't gonna eat you. But I still don't like their little motherfucking asses, man. Stay out of my shit. <laughs> so I fight some real good. You gotta learn how to do them. Hold on now, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna show you a real combat motherfucker I don't play. <laughs> I get me ass beat. You dig? When I want some ass, I want some ass. Think I'm playing with you? Think I'm playing with you? <laughs> now, I ain't getting paid for none of this, but I'm trying to hit you. Now, I'm gonna tell you, get your ass the fuck. When you let this go, you put this somewhere where you ain't got to breathe this shit. I goes in. You understand me? I don't fuck around. Look at this shit right now. Yeah, they ain't gonna just be down there dancing. and do, They ain't gonna be twerking and shit, looking back at each other and all that. Oh, no. Nah. They might be doing that when they like, oh, y'all partying like a motherfucker up under there. Like, mm -hmm. move this tab, Psst. throw that motherfucker on up under that man. You, man, throw that bitch up under that boy. Close it on up, man. Go on the other end of that motherfucker. Throw another one up on that. Man, when you get through, them bitches, them bitches gonna, them bitches gonna unass your spot. That's what you got to do. If you put it somewhere around where they can't in every man to somewhere, trust me, man. 
they won't even want to come around. If it's something under there, it could be, I don't care if it's snake. If it's whatever's up under there, first they're going to be attracted to it, and then all of a sudden they're going to get stumbled and realize, oh, this ain't no motherfucker. This ain't no weed. <laughs> This ain't no goddamn CBD. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't no motherfucking CBD oil, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I don't think you know who you fucking with. <laughs> You don't know you fucking with do you? <laughs> <laughs> U.S. Army, who? You don't know who you fucking with. <laughs> Boy, let me tell you a little something. Let me tell you a little story about boot camp. <laughs> in there and they got you in your little mask and shit you done done your mop gear and then he got his mask over there to the instructor and y'all all lined up on a motherfucking wall with your mask on your protective mask you done done your protective mask put on and all that good shit right and, and, and tie it all up, right? So you can breathe real good, right? And then he's over there in the corner with this pot. And he takes and he drops this in there and he... Set this bitch on fire, right? Then next thing you know, that motherfucker get to smoldering like one of them... Like one of them goddamn uh, incense, you know? And get the room good and full of smoke. And then, they tell you to take off your mask one by one, come in and ask your name. Ask you what company you in, what's your number, right? And don't put it back on. Go to the next one. <laughs> and you standing there. Next thing you know, your eyes and shit is blinking hard. You start puking, and your motherfucking nose start snotting. There. Everything start running out that bitch. And you got I don't know how many people in your goddamn uh, platoon. <laughs> <laughs> right in your damn squad. You got four of them, right? Four squads in a pl platoon, right? Shit. Trust me, man. Then you come running out when they tell you, okay, get the fuck out. You go running out the door and you got to run around the track and flap your arms like a goose, right? On around the motherfucking track and run that shit off. I come out all cool and shit. <laughs> He grabbed me by my utility and all that shit took me right back around the back. <laughs> and move, get the fuck out of the way. And shoved me the fuck back in there. Slammed the fucking door on me again. The second time, man, was was easier to do than it was the first time. I stand right in there, gave my name, my number, and I start seeing all the other recruits that's in there. <laughs> <laughs> he grabbing on the instructor. Get the fuck off of me. Give me your name and number. And he was trying to hug up my mask. Oh, you see him panicking and shit. And he's like, I don't give a fuck. You're going to die. You don't goddamn it. What's your name and number? What's your name and number? Get it together, soldier. <laughs> and then he like, he died. And he fell to the ground. And then the next one. But these were the little shitty ones. So I'm standing there. And I'm in there. And then. Tears of tear gas and got me tearing up, got my nose and shit. And I was sitting there laughing. 
<laughs> get your name and number. I give it to him. And this time, get the fuck out of here. We got the fuck out of here. I ran out. <laughs> and I was still laughing. And I, <laughs> and I started running around the damn track this time, man. Shit, when I come out the door, I bail out. Run. <laughs> man, let me tell you something. That was about the best time in my life. One of the one of the best times in my life was basic training. U.S. Army. Man, let me tell you something. I'm glad I went. Because that way I can never say, I wonder what it'd be like. I wish I had a win. I'm glad I got in. I'm glad I enlisted. I stood up as a black man, you did, to help fight and make a difference for the black man. In this world, especially my own black ass, but the black man in in general, you dig? So shut your mouth, boy, talking to me. Then get on my nerve, all I want to do is karate chop the fuck out of you, <laughs> Kick it in your nuts. Get your funky heart, boy. Slam that bitch on the grill, bitch. Get my knife. And slice that some bitch up in real nice little bitch. I eat so hot. <laughs> boy. <laughs> my M16, boy, you just don't. Wait, no, you call it out if you want. <laughs> I kill ya. <laughs> man, it's a veteran come out, man. God damn. Boy, let me tell you something. People, people. You know not what you do. Stop shooting and killing each other, will you? Please, can you do that? Man, a little funky gold and money and shit, man. You can get them shits too. Just stop, will you? God damn. You just really don't understand, man. It's just not that serious. When you get done and you, if you ever get in the opportunity, get an opportunity to, to be lucrative in this way. <laughs> For your basic necessities, you don't need anything else. How many fucking steaks you gonna eat at one time? Don't look at the next motherfucker because he can and then want to take what he got. It's the same thing as, okay, I give you a fish and you eat for a day, day right? Let me teach you how to fish. You can eat for a lifetime, eternity, right? You don't need to do that. Don't look for a fucking beef. Don't be ignore your life, and then all of a sudden you, you see the light after you know you done done some shit to somebody else, made their whole, and then you really understand that it takes time to make this shit happen. It looked like that because. No one else ever paid attention. All of a sudden, the light is on them, right? Especially in this social media shit. Let me tell you something. How long have y'all been sending me on this motherfucker, man? Yes, my shit is monetized, but I didn't go through the rest of it. You know? You got to get an LLC. Right? Then you got to fix your little taxes so the shit don't come back to you if it bombs then it ain't sitting on you. You know what I mean? That your personal, t all that shit. No. <clears throat> it's your business, your brand, the ball I'm throwing in the trash. Well, I didn't want to go with that shit because when you get done, you, you know, you, it's still you. You, you got to pay taxes on the shit, man. You know what I mean? So, I ain't, I ain't go with that. But y'all look at these motherfuckers. Let me tell you, man. You know. 
get on this motherfucking thing. It don't happen overnight. It's, it don't happen overnight. It don't happen overnight. Now, and people be overjoyed running the TikTok and all of that bullshit, right? But, and Instagram and all that, and instantly you do this and do that and blah, 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 blah. Now, everything got its pros and cons. When you first get TikTok, you get on there and you do a live, like right now, I'm doing a live, right, on Facebook, <laughs> and you shut it down, and you go away, and then you come back, all of a sudden, you can't go live, you got to do this one little thing, and it's just, all of a sudden, you can't get not even a minute out of it motherfuckers like well what's going on then you go back to the thing and then it, it didn't shut you down now you gotta go get monetized you gotta do some other shit in order to get and you ain't even that and we ain't even talking about putting your shit on for to to get monetized to be monetized even if you monetize guess what you still got to work your way up this motherfucking hill in order to get, man, it's, look, man, it'd be better off just going to get your goddamn job. I'm telling you, most people, now, most of them be doing Twitch. They be playing them games. They be trying some of that other shit with them coins because they don't have nothing else to do. But some people be like, man, it's just too much bullshit for me. They just, you know, my, like my, I mean, it's just too much bullshit. I'm, I'd rather be working. At the end of the fr fucking Friday come, I'm, I want my bread, man. I don't got, got time for that shit. Other people do. They might. They be that impatient, but they keep fucking with it. So they put all their shit together, and they fuck with this one. They fuck with that one till the shit finally just hit, right? You don't know, you know, how it works, but you got to get involved with it. And you yes, when once you start doing it, <clears throat> once you get monetized and you 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 go for the getting bread and shit. In order for you to get your bread, you gotta put some on you know, every, every day, you two or three times a day, whatever it is, whatever it is. So they can put their little uh uh little uh ads in there to be subject to whatever what is it model planes uh model cars uh, uh something educational something 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 that's gonna catch these people's attention and it could be something along those lines just all you gotta do right but yeah it's a it's a it's a process it don't happen overnight so don't be looking at somebody and be a dirty bastard then run back, you know what I'm saying? Because let me tell you something. A lot of stuff done happened, right? To different people. You run your ass back up there, grin it. <laughs> back up in there. And next thing you know, them they be laughing. <laughs> uh, 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 bitch. Break yourself. Pow! And blow your whole brains out because you just did that to somebody else down the street. You know what I'm talking about. And it's just somebody dead. Come on, man. It's Martin to say. Or well, it could be <laughs> Cedric the Entertainer. Bullshit. <laughs> what you say? Well, I am Mo Love. And this is my channel. And I do put funk on the bass, baby. And I do make the, the guitar stink a little bit. But yeah, I hope y'all digging it, baby. You digging it, baby? <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 I tell you, it take, it takes some, boy. It takes, take. 
You know, if you ain't doing nothing, just, that's all you got to do. Me, personally, I'm kind of like the old folks channel. He's like, I ain't asked nobody for no money, and I ain't putting nothing on you. Yeah, it's the old man. You know, just some bullshit to him. He'd rather work, you know. He just did it because it's a channel, and he could do it. He did a lot of things for fun. He could have probably got money for it, but ain't no telling. He might got deep monetized, or he might got a whole nother channel, or he just felt like giving it a break because it's his channel, and he can do what the fuck he want to do with it. You know? Who is anybody? You know what I mean? So, there you go. So, when y'all get done, this to me, this to me right here. Just, it's the same thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it to you like this. <clears throat> it's the same thing like World Star, right? You remember World Star? I'm quite sure y'all do, right? And then all of a sudden, you go viral. Next thing you know, use a rapper or use whatever, whatever, like that. So, ain't no need to act no fool. Don't turn 2023 like you got a top the bullshit that already been done. It don't make no sense, right? Then how the fuck you gonna talk about Black Lives Matter and we and these days? How you know what's black? Cause it's black people the ones happening. That's why it ain't nobody else, right? Let's just keep it a stack. Damn. Right, you niggas all you gotta be in this shit doing something like it, man, it ain't nothing. Like like white the white folks they ain't come on. Get over that bullshit <clears throat> and stop it. Then you can't talk about if you doing the same shit, you can't talk about turn around and talk about the little white dude. That went off in the, in the church and just shot up all the people. You know what I mean? That's some more, more stupid shit. You know, when does the bullshit quit, man? And the real shit, you know, hey. When you get out a chance to stand up to be recognized, man. You know what I mean? Well, whenever, man. It's your word. I'm just a hermit over here in the man cave. Not bothering no body it is I spread love that's what I am I'm loving and that's it like me love me <clears throat> but Lord don't hate me the Lord don't hate me Lord, don't hate me. The Lord, don't hate me.
trying to love you. What you getting so mad about? Mm -hmm. Yeah, y'all, 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 whomever it is, bring your ass out. <clears throat> Stop acting a fool because you can make it. You don't need to bring that bullshit. All the rappers, OG rappers say, man, these young society got it made. They, they said, man, all the footwork you got to do now, uh, we had, you had to do back in the day, man. Now all you got to do is get one of these damn old cell phones, man. And if you, if you, if you, man, you, you can put on the damn apple. I dookie on myself. I doodle on myself. I dookie on myself. Dookie on myself. I have some little... <laughs> A little, 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 some little, uh, what you call him? Little hoochie mom's back there twerking. Ah, dookie on himself. He dookie on himself. Do, dookie on himself. Dookie, ah, man, I dookie on myself. Dookie on myself. Next thing you know, that shit go viral. <laughs> Think I'm bullshitting. Try it. Fuck, I might try it. Just to, just to prove my point. Next thing you know, It'd be a, a, a million people on there. You get a whole damn dollar or whatever that it might cost for when they own the dollar, you get a piece of penny back in the day going through somebody or filing for a, a contract working for somebody. <laughs> oh, man. That's what Snoop Dogg and all the rest of them talk about. If you think I'm bullshitting, go, go, go peep them out. God damn it, if you know him. Uh, go to uh, 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 go to uh, 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 Quick or any of them <clears throat> from way back in the day in the Tupac era and all that. Uh, way back, go if you can find and man. If you can find Curtis Blow, go ask him. Go ask him. Matter of fact, go ask uh, 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 Reverend Run and his brother. That you can, you want the truth, go to them. Go to the root of it all, and let the hip hop matter of fact. KRS One or any of. Now you talk in my language. I've been waiting to hear my name for so long. You would just imagine. Me with the 808 coming and <laughs> everyone else's stuff has been played. And I've just been waiting and waiting. Finally, I'm exposed <laughs> or mentioned. Okay. Well, let me see some more, man. Uh, Oh, 40 wow. 40 wild and all that, man. They, 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 look, look, I can't even <laughs> mimic him. Yeah, I gotta listen to him, but I know him when I hear him. I know what he do. Him and his glasses like mine's down on his nose, though. <laughs> uh, just go. You gotta go back there. If you want it, look, they could probably, man, listen. It might be funky. Get your little ass out of here. I don't want to know. What? You want to know? You pay for a goddamn cell phone. Give me $30, $30 a motherfucking month. I'll show you how to put your shit together. Boy. <laughs> Make it sound like something. Click up. I don't be bothered, child. This motherfucker. Y'all rich and forbidden. <laughs> motherfucker. I'm trying to figure out where y'all. What the fuck y'all get all that? What white man gave y'all that fucking money? The fuck y'all get that money? Y'all robbed the bank? Wait a minute. Just let me see them shits. Y'all spreading it all out. That's ain't nothing but that fucking old Paramount Pictures bush. Man, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out.
out of here. Foul! <laughs> Man. <clears throat> Bang. I get so lonely. I get so lonely. Can't let just anybody hold me. Fell asleep late last night, crying like a newborn child. I get so lonely, I can't let just anybody hold me. Time just keeps passing by. Funny how time flies when you're happy. Time passes by just when the fun begins. Ooh, funny how time flies when you're having fun. Ooh, yeah, baby. I can't explain. It's just the way you do for me. It knocked me right off of my feet. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can't explain why your love makes me weep. Get so weak.
this this E string I made. <clears throat> it's uh, actually a. Uh, mm, it's a. Uh, uh, Twenty four, eighteen. It's it's a big ass. So uh, it's a big ass string. I forgot what it was. What gauge it is? But I made it so that I I, I put one in the one so that some bitch won't break. Cause man, when you go to Lifting that bitch up. Next thing you know, pop. I don't want it to pop no more. So, and I ain't the only one. Bend that bitch a little bit. See. But it don't. On my knees I pray and that he will send your love my way. In this masquerade, there's a ribbon in the sky. For I love I said it On my knees I pray For oh, that he Will send your love my way In his mind, there's a ribbon in the sky for our love. La da dee, la da dee, dee 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 dee
I think I need a way bigger guitar, man. It seems like this bitch is just crunched up to me for some reason. I need one of them great big motherfuckers, man, so I can get on this bat. That 12th fret be up here, because let me tell you something, man. You be, you don't got no octave after that. Right here is the E. When you get way up here, you're supposed to return the E. That's a D. And you got to, and it ain't going. It ain't, you ain't going to never get it. And that goes for all of them. Octave, octave, open, open, E, and it's supposed to be E, watch this, not no E, No, my bad. It's supposed to be an open E, right? It's supposed to be an E, an E, but it's not. It's a D. It's really a D, damn it. And it's not just this it's right here. That's just what it is. Yeah. 12, 13, 14, 15. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Y'all can't even see what I'm doing, man. You can't, can't even see what I'm doing. I'm spending the time on this. Okay. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Right now, watch this here. E. F, G, A, B, C, D, and it's supposed to be E, right? Now you see that? That's where a whole nother fret will be right here, but that ain't, you ain't gonna get it. Nope, not at all. But, what they say, don't cut off your head, spite your nose. We play something else on it. You D. <laughs> I'll do the Sashika dance on <laughs> I ain't seen her do a dance lately. <laughs> Where you at, Sashika, baby? <laughs> so you, <laughs> boy, you ain't paying no attention to what's going on. Yeah, I'm paying real good attention. So I'm going to leave it alone, you hear me? Yeah, I'm out there, bitch. <laughs> I'm going to leave you alone. Made your New Year's resolution leave everybody else. Huh. 
ho alone. Biatch. I'll show this one do. Exactly what I'm gonna do. Leave your ho alone. Let her go and get her bread. Go and get your goddamn phone for the money. <laughs> Paying attention to what's going on. Don't 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 pay attention. You stay your ass at home. Cheaper to keeper. Goddamn niggas go nuts. A honky, whatever. About these damn little funky ass bed. Man. what time it is give it a break leave them the fuck on so if you ain't get no likes and no hearts and shit you already know i gave you enough to know i care somebody i hope you got lit that's my job is to light shit up for you you got it from here now i'm gonna tell you right now niggas don't turn your ass back don't turn your ass back. Don't turn your ass back. Come back crying. Nah, I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to hear nothing. God damn it. I don't want to hear your boo-hoo, nigga. I don't want to hear none of it. And you know what I'm talking about. I don't want to hear it. I gave you the biggest love, the biggest light for that joint ever. Take your little woman gone now. Go on, boy. Go on, take the little woman. Go on, boy. I know that's all you got in the whole goddamn world now, boy. <laughs> but you niggas know how I feel now, right? And you got a dynamite bitch, and all of a sudden she just, just different. Something wrong with that motherfucker bitch. With the boy, I was sitting with my motherfucking feast night. Man, I, 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 why my motherfucking feet in the best shit in the world? Fuck you, Tommy. All of a sudden, I'm on your nerve. You crying. Uh, 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 touch me. Uh, 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 uh. You don't know what all of a sudden you're emotional. All that right, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Open the door. Get out before I put my foot in your ass. Get you out. Get out. Call that nigga. Tell them to come get you and your shit right now. Or get the fuck out. Go to your girlfriend's house, your sister, your auntie. I don't care. Go to your mom's house, but get out, bitch. Don't be in my face crying about another man, some other dick. Women do that to you. They'll break your fucking soul, boy. They'll, 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 they'll kill your ego. Put it in a pot. And boil that motherfucker. You boil your balls right in front of you. When I was a young man, I should have took that ass. The direction is out the door and go ahead on my business. Taste freedom and get, I was free to go. Nah, I'm not that boy. Bitch, get out. You ain't gonna sit up on me with no goddamn uh, uh, love truth bullshit. She grad. <laughs> Baby, what's wrong with you? We're gonna be right in the kitchen about. <laughs> 
no. Cause you sick on some other body dick. Yeah, you ain't bullshitting nobody. You got some old dick. You finally got some different dick. Or you just can't compose yourself no more to lie to the man. He's a man. I'm, look, man, it's me and that nigga, man. It's me and that nigga, man. And don't be putting me on this social media shit. Yeah, I don't want this social media shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that clown shit. I want the motherfucking bread. I want the bread. But, but you fuck a real nigga man over here, man. You put a man this this Mac a fool, my nigga. You fuck a real nigga over here, man. I don't want to hit out. Play that shit. <laughs> fuck that social media shit. Fuck that about no fame, bitch. I want the motherfucking money. Grab a ball by a neck, you hear me, bitch? <laughs> but she love that shit. She love the bondage and belonging to somebody else. Now, look, mister, Robert... <laughs> And you think I'm just laughing at you, man. I ain't laughing at you, playboy. I know your pain. I know your pain, brother. Seen it many times before. <laughs> baby, baby, I got to move on, baby. I got to keep pushing. I got to keep pushing the Cadillac, baby. <laughs> and see, I gotta teach you, man. You gotta go back <clears throat> in your ancestors, uh, Robert. You gotta go back, Robert Latruth, right? Uh, what's, what's y'all real name? Uh, 
Or what's the woman's name? Like, you, you know what I'm saying, boy. You know what I'm talking about. I ain't but one. Oh. You got to go back to your roots, man. Old last players, old last max. You was the first one, baby. That captured my emotion, honey. I ain't never fell in love before. Oh, I'm so sorry, baby. If I hurt it, you, yeah, yeah. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it, baby. I got to go. I got to go, baby. I got to. I got to go, baby. <laughs> you come from pimps and players for real. My nigga, you know what I'm saying. You find a good one and you fall in love and have kids and baby. I never intended to have children. It was just trying to get the bread, baby. You was my bottom, my bottom, but now you got to be the top one, baby. Oh, what a change. It's hard, babe. I don't normally show my emotion, baby. No, 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 baby. I don't normally show this side of me, baby. Oh, no. <laughs> boy, that was the blues for our city boy back in for the players and the necks and the pink. It was what the players said, sing it, player, sad player, sad player, go ahead on, get it on down, boy, sound like music to me, boy, go ahead on. Will it down to my baby? Back there with gold, let go, let go, let my nigga. Let me tell you way back with uh, Rudy Ray, the mo. You dig what I'm talking about? You yeah, dig? That one's real, motherfucking Max and players, my nigga. You understand where I'm coming from? You know, pretty Tony and shit like that. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> See, you's a young man, you don't understand. See, the, the girl, man, they, they, they is. They faster than a mind. They more mature. They 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 they, they catch root faster than a man. Yeah, we we 
to the boys until we get to the fact that we lit. We don't become a man till we 21. A girl is a whole woman when she at age 15, trust me. <laughs> what would you drive? Go ahead and put that in your song. But this how you got it. This is what you got to do. You got to go back, boy. You got to go, go back in the day, boy. Don't mean to hurt you, baby. But I got to go. Blowing the wind. Got to go, baby. I gotta get in the wind, baby. Yeah, I got the cold. Take care of the children best you can. Don't look for no child support, baby. Child support from me, baby. No, 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 no. Baby, you can do it all by yourself. Oh. You can do it all by yourself. Oh, oh, hold on, baby. Hold on, baby. <laughs> Oh, you see my That's a lot of trying to clean my nose, damn it. <laughs> oh, got to go, baby. Gotta get in the wind, babe. Don't look for no allocator money, neither money, uh, honey, cause daddy got gotta have it all. Ooh, I ain't got time for no, no, nothing that that reminisces no. House and home, cause I'm too much of a Mac baby, a player, a pimp. <laughs> Sugar free said, Preach, brother, preach, 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 my nigga, preach. <laughs> My nigga, preach my nigga, oh, preach my nigga. Okay, <laughs> I've probably been on here quite a minute, but hey, man, it's getting good to be on here just fucking around. You hear me? You hear me? <laughs> Boy, you need it from 
Old player, old pimp, nigga, you know what you talk about back in the day, boy. Shit. One of them old huggy bears, my nigga. Come out with the, come out with the platforms, with the, with the, with the aquarium platforms, and my elevators, my nigga, and big hat, my nigga, come out, boy, look at him, styling like shit. Man, I'm the cleanest motherfucker out here on the Ave. You hear me, my nigga? <laughs> Come on, my nigga. It's real. They can't touch you. What well, if you came out with some Nikes? <laughs> a fish bowl, some Nikes with some fishes in that bitch. <laughs> what they gonna do? <laughs> right in the toe. What they gonna do? What they gonna do? <laughs> Be the first nigga, mate. <laughs> Be the first nigga. You hear me? Change the whole, whole game on them, boy. Uh. Change the game on them, boy. Uh, change the game on them. Boy, they, they can't touch you, boy. Come out with the fur, be all up in the fur, my nigga, and glitter, my nigga. Top out. Just be Ariana. What's her name? What's your, what's your woman's name, man? The girl ain't going nowhere because don't nobody want that little gator, man. Nobody don't want that little gator. <laughs> you know why? Because she's going to be sweet at the beginning. Everything she done to you, <laughs> the next nigga go get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next nigga gonna get it. <laughs> so we laughing. Go ahead. Said I set you free, baby. You gotta do it like the old school Matt and Pitt, my nigga. Set you free, baby. <laughs> set her free, my nigga. Set her free. Let it go, baby. Oh, I'm going to cry while I'm driving down the highway, baby. Blowing this joint. Blowing on this, on this blunt. Oh, baby. <laughs> you say guess it bad. <laughs> I'm like, tell you, boy. They be like, what this old nigga? Gotta.
Even you, your freedom papers, baby, you can walk on. But daddy got the coat. Daddy got the coat, baby. Oh, oh. I know what's gonna hurt you more than it hurt me, but baby, my heart is in pieces. Yeah. <laughs> See, you had to go back to your uncles and your man, probably back to your grandpa, oh, man, if he's still alive. Boy, he tell all oh, that boy, that, that, that boy, that, that know what you're talking about, you know what you're talking about. <laughs> and they tell you all about it. Back in the day, boy, when, when they had it going, oh, boy, you ain't got the players. You ain't got to play a touch. They, they got to turn you on, boy. I just like, look here. <laughs> Bang. That why I said, let me talk to the younger. Let me talk to her. Let me get that too right quick. Blow the smoke. <laughs> <laughs> he want his shotgun straight to the brain. He ain't fucking around. He a real nigga, you know what I mean? <laughs> he got to turn you on. He got he to look, well, don't take this shit so hard. Let me show you how it is, man. You know, this is something they got to have, and they can't do without it. You understand what I'm talking about? You already set the trend, and you know what I mean? So don't even sweat the small stuff. Come on out here. You know, get the rest of that. You know what I'm saying? Might as well get the rest of that. You know. She a nice piece. That ain't no problem. You know. But you know, we all that had that, that we all that had that one. That was the style of my, I can show you picture after picture of all the pretty motherfucking women. All the players that had, boy, I mean, you look like, like today, <clears throat> these women, they go in and had this stuff put on them. No, it's crazy to see a woman just already made like that. Pretty motherfucking eyes, their body banging out of control. The hair and shit is real. It, it matches the the, the, the the hair up under their arm and on their pubics and everything, man. Looking like caramel candy, man. I'm telling you right now. You did. These real hammers. You know what I mean? They ain't had none of that surgery stuff done. If so, you couldn't tell it. But they used to breed them like that. The way you find them now, I'm telling you, deep in California. That's what I'm trying to tell you, boy. You good, boy. Show you shit, man. You think that's something, man? You got to do today. Listen, everybody have a right to travel and everything. You need <laughs> more love. Get the other people along. <laughs> <laughs> Look, my name is Mo Love. I'm is <clears throat> Mo Love. This is my bass guitar. And this here is my guitar, lead guitar, my bass and my guitar. And y'all know me, man. I'm going to be back with some shit, man. It smells so good, you'll want some. You want to come back to smell it. You did. <laughs> I'm Mo Love, and I shall return.